Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we will explore the concept of immutable infrastructure. Before diving into the technical explanation, let's first understand the basics mutable and immutable. In simple terms, mutable refers to something that can be changed and continuously modified. Imagine a whiteboard, you can write, erase and rewrite on it without needing a new one. Immutable describes something that cannot be altered after it's created. A printed paper is a good example. If you want to make changes, you must print a new one with the required changes. In the IT world, the concepts of mutability and immutability are applicable both in software engineering and DevOps. In software engineering, these ideas are used in object-oriented programming, while in DevOps, they relate to infrastructure automation. In this video, we will concentrate on the topic of immutable infrastructure from a DevOps perspective. To understand immutable infrastructure, it's essential to first learn about the life cycle of a typical server used in organizations. Here is a high level overview of a server's life cycle with an application. Keep in mind that the process vary from one organization to another. Provision a server, SSH into the server, install required utilities, configure security agents, firewalls and utilities for security hardening. Install and configure the required application. Make application and server configuration changes to improve performance. Make the server live for production. Log into the server every month and patch it for security. Perform an application upgrade when available. Make changes to the application configuration as per request. Large organizations streamline this process using configuration management tools like Chef, Ansible or Puppet. As you can see, the steps mentioned above follow a mutable model as we are making changes to the same running server based on requirements. So if you want to patch or upgrade applications, you do everything in place, meaning on the same server. It's a traditional way of deploying and managing servers and it could pose challenges like inconsistency and configuration drift. Immutable, as the name implies, is a concept where no changes are made to the server after deployment. The server is deployed with pre-configured utilities and applications from a virtual machine image. If you create a virtual machine image with the required software and configuration, the application starts running the moment the server comes up. You can call it as a ready-to-go server. If you want to make any changes to the server post-deployment, the existing server must be destroyed and replaced with a new one. Changes could include patching, application upgrades or server configuration changes. Organizations use tools like HashiCorp Packer to automate server image builds along with tools like Ansible. A practical example is a Packer configuration file that uses an Ansible playbook to build a Jenkins controller image. When you deploy the Jenkins controller image built by Packer, you will have a running Jenkins controller instance. You can follow the immutable infrastructure model for most modern applications, including distributed database clusters. For example, applications running in cloud autoscaling groups follow a immutable server deployment model. Whenever you want to deploy new application code, you need to update the image template of the autoscaling group with a new image. Then you need to destroy the existing VMs so that the new ones launched with autoscaling will have the latest server image configured in the image template. In an immutable model, standard best practices should be followed in terms of configurations. You need to ensure all infrastructure related code, scripts and configuration used for the image creation or inversion control system. This allows for an easy tracking of changes, collaboration and rollback in case of issues. Use tools like HashiCorp Packer to automate the process of creating a server image. This ensures consistency and reduces the risk of human error. Externalize application configurations using config store like AWS Parameter Store or a service discovery tool to manage and retrieve configurations at runtime rather than baking it in the VM image. Because this config could differ for each deployment environment. By externalizing the configuration, you can use the same VM image in all the environments. A classic example would be Nginx upstream configuration. You can have the Nginx upstream configuration in external system that will be retrieved in the runtime. This way, you don't have to bounce off a server for small Nginx configuration changes. Externalize secrets using secret management tool like HashiCorp Vault or AWS Secrets Manager. Implement automated testing for server image creation pipelines to ensure that the changes do not introduce bugs or vulnerabilities. By following these best practices, you can successfully implement immutable infrastructure model in your projects. So how does this model fit in the CI-CD process for applications? 
when you follow an immutable infrastructure model for applications a deployable artifact would be a virtual machine image for example once ca is done with tools like packer you can bake the application code into a vm image for example in aws ami and use it to deploy in different environments i hope this video was useful i will see you in the next video where i will talk about how organizations manage virtual machine based images